Kun Tun said, "I'm really sympathetic with Kun Ying Lap. She has been in politics for about six weeks, and suddenly she is facing everyday reporters asking all sorts of questions." Mm-hmm. And now reporters have to come back to the office and trying to decipher, decode what she said. That was what I'm about to say to you. Yeah, you have to be sympathetic with people like me also. <laughs> and why? Every day I come to the office having to, uh, trying to like understand what, what, what the new prime minister or the prime minister to be is telling the public. Right. Mm-hmm. On the you know, a lot of these promises during the election campaign are coming up. Yes, uh, and she has to answer. You know whether she's going to do this and that and this and that. Yes, and the answers she gave to reporters in the past few days are quite confusing. I don't know whether she's confused or the reporters are confused. Maybe both of, both sides have been very confused. <laughs> uh, What thing, are some of the questions? Yes, and uh, answers. First, first thing is the oil fund story. Oil fund. Yes. Uh, We remember that when she said mm-hmm. at the l a c h a m a n k a r a Stadium, mm-hmm. she said clear cut in a clear cut manner that she is going to scrap the oil fund. Right, meaning that oil prices will come down. Yes, right. Mm-hmm. But now, after a lot of people have come out to criticize this policy, she mm-hmm. said, "No, no, no. It's, mm-hmm. uh, I didn't mean to scrap the whole oil mm-hmm. fund, but mm-hmm. I was just uh, saying that mm-hmm. the contributions to the oil fund will be." Cut down, uh-huh. Uh-huh. which is basically the same thing. Yes, because uh, if the contributions are cut, mm-hmm. the fund cannot exist anymore. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But you know, when you say something during election campaign, it's different from when you become government. <laughs> you of see, course, of course. But now that is only one of the questions that are causing confusion. There are also mm-hmm. the other things also. Yeah, the, the minimum wage. Yeah, three hundred baht a day for everybody. Yes, or throughout the country, throughout the country within ninety days. Yes, and now it's changed a little. Mm-hmm. She is now saying that it's going to be effective mm-hmm. on January first next okay. year. Okay, at least six months. Yes, and it's going to be for uh, only skilled labor. Skilled labor. Yes, and then that, that confuses me a little because yes. uh, the term minimum wage we use only to describe unskilled sure. labor. Sure. Be- That's why it's called minimum wage. Yes, the lowest of the wages. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And now she's saying it's still three hundred baht. See the same rate all over the country, right? And mm-hmm. starting on Jan first next it year, it will be three hundred baht for skilled labor. So mm-hmm. it could be <laughs> anything. Uh, some some people are already paying more than three hundred baht for skilled labor. So mm-hmm. uh, we we still don't know what she's talking about here. But that's going to make it very difficult for small and medium sized com- companies, because you know, they would have to pay higher minimum wage. Mm-hmm. Why productivity is the same? Yes. The bottom line will be affected, mm-hmm. and even big factories will have problems. Yes, and people are warning about unemployment. Mm-hmm. If you don't have enough money to to pay this much, so minimum you lay off some people so that you can pay the minimum wage that the government imposes upon you. So this, this could you. explain why she is uh, back uh, backtracking mm-hmm. a little mm-hmm. on this also. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, next to you. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> the red. Leaders in the cabinet. Yeah, are there any red shirt leaders in the new cabinet? We still don't know. She um she she said that uh she she's still open to anyone. No, but a few days ago she said something to the effect that she may consider you know not having red shirt leaders in the cabinet, or maybe she was responding to a question of a reporter. Since right. she's new to this kind of sort of. Interview on the go, you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. She seemed to be responding to questions without really knowing that it could become a headline in the paper the next mm-hmm, morning. Mm-hmm. So when a report asks her whether you think that there will be racial leaders in your cabinet, is it right a right thing to do? You may get criticized. This sort of mm-hmm. thing. She would say, "Well, you know, we have to look into it. We'll talk about it." Mm-hmm. But then today she said something like. No, of course, there's no discrimination against a racial leader. Exactly. So uh, we have to wait and see. Mm-hmm. This could be really quick because uh, she only have a few days to form the new mm-hmm. cabinet, so mm-hmm. it's easier to to see what she's meaning. Um, uh, instead of the oil fund, we have to wait, this, and the minimum but, wage we have to wait. Yeah, but this on this particular case, she's also facing a unique kind of experience—the first time for her, being mm-hmm. a party leader or being the. 
upcoming prime minister. She has all the factions within the Pure Thai Party. k u n s a n o t Thien Thong yesterday came out and said, "No racial leaders in the yes. cabinet. Otherwise,、mm-hmm. it's going to be confusing. It's going to affect a lot of fe-、uh, feelings of the people."、Mm-hmm. And then one of the racial leaders, k u n g o k e l p i k u n Thong, came and said, "No, no, racial leaders must be there because they have helped Pure Thai Party to win this election." Yes,、exactly. that's why. And、mm-hmm. you are Ying Lang. Right in the middle of this conflicting opinions in the party,、yes. obviously you need to change gear and change tack from time to time. Yeah, this is a very、um, sensitive issue,、mm-hmm. and the subtext is the red shirt movement. The whole movement、mm-hmm. is watching her, so、uh, mm-hmm. it's not easy for.、Her. Well, I can guarantee that there will be still more to come. This kind yes, of yes,、uh, there's a more <laughs> before we finish. Yeah, yeah, there's one more story about、yeah. the amnesty. Also,、right. uh-huh. she hasn't been really clear on that. Uh huh. So if I were her handler, I would advise her not to give interview to CNN, BBC, Al Jazeera because、mm-hmm. you know they ask tough questions and they sometimes put leading questions.、Mm-hmm. And of course, she should talk to Thai reporters, but make sure she sits down and answer questions very clearly, one by one, instead of walking past the reporters, reporters popping a microphone in front of her and ask、mm-hmm. her questions that she didn't have time to think about, and that. Could cause more confusion.